So that was the nursery rhyme card that came out. It was Jack and the Beanstalk and Hansel and Gretel. Beware of following the sweets. It might lead you somewhere and somebody might shove you in that oven. <laughs> I'm sure there's a good ending to that, though. <laughs> oh, let's pull an angel card for us all. What have the angels got to say to us? Listen. Listen to your angels. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your... Your spirit guides. That means you've got to contemplate, have some time and actually go within. I always find it difficult to meditate me, but sitting quiet with my salt lamp on and or a, a candle lit and, and really just having two minutes doing my breath work. <sighs> following that pattern eventually chills me out <laughs> and that's when I can listen. So make sure you do listen because they've got things to tell us. Maybe it's about us gifts, what we need to be sharing, how we can help others in this next year. Astrologically, we've got another couple of years of um, ups and downs, shall we say. So if we listen and go within, we might be able to deal with it a little bit better and help others a little bit more. I'm just wondering if I should pull any more. So just to clarify, because this is my third video, it cut out because of room. We've got Six of Cups and Pentacles. It were all about loving your family, even if they're not reciprocated, even if they're not giving it back. Just just send love that way and then we'll feel like we're happy families. Justice in finances and a new financial system coming. Cats. Three cats in today's reading. I'm sure somebody can tell me what cats mean. But I see it as sticking up for itself, being stealthy, strong. Being on the prowl, moving forward, going in the direction that we know, but keeping a lookout for his enemy at the same time. We also got this beautiful card, Enchanting Gifts. Becoming the ballerina, letting his inner child out this year. How do we know what his inner child wants to do? We have to listen. <sighs> for those of you who have got space to put a couple of pots on your windowsill or in your garden, Plant some beans because we've got Jack and the Beanstalk. Who knows what kingdom it can lead us to. I'm hoping myself to grow some more food with Erica. See how it goes. See if we can grow his own little garden and start sharing his own organic food. That's the way that we're going to get justice and stop the income flowing the opposite way. We keep the food with us. We might um, have this lovely community that we're all dreaming of. Who knows who's going to be a gardener in all of us. But I wanted to share this message. I wanted to do an Happy New Year message. And um, yeah, what affirmations are you doing? This time last year, <laughs> coincidentally, I got another neighbour problem. And I hated where I was living. And um, I wrote some affirmations and I went over them over and over and over. And I stuck them on pieces of paper with blue tack onto my kitchen cupboards. Every time I had a drink of water, made a cup of tea, in the bathroom, every time I got up, when I went to bed, I said them out loud over and over and over. And I felt it excited. Oh, I can't wait till I get my new house. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't, I can't wait. And I felt the energy. And I said it over and over repetitively and clearly and specifically to the universe what I needed. Guess what? That was Christmas. Well, New Year. 17th of March, I got keys to a brand new house. <laughs> so it can work. We don't have to manifest possessions. We can manifest love and support and sharing as gifts with other people. So listen to what your inner self wants. Go within. And if you don't know how to do it, just write some sentences on a... I've bought a new um, notebook, actually, today with some new pens. I think I'm going to co colour coordinate look. <laughs> <laughs> black red and blue and I'm going to write what I want and then I'm going to make my sentences shorter and more specific the rule of three three times each one morning and night or whenever I come in and out I've created myself a little crystal space which I'm sure you've seen on one of the other videos <sighs> and that's what I'm going to do in fact I'll pull a crystal meaning tell me when to stop We've got a crystal for collective. Jade. Jade, what do we need jade for? It's like greenish in colour, pale to mid green. Uh, a rare. Oh, 
well, like emerald, <laughs> emerald colour it says. How funny is that? In the first video, before I pointed out my emerald jewel. We're talking about diabetes and cholesterol for somebody, so if anybody's got any problems with that, that's what you need. This dog's dignity for anyone who has been mocked for looking different or maybe speaking out. So it restores dignity and your strength to move forward stealthily like all these cats that we keep getting. Elevates us out of darkness. There we go. Oh, it's often placed in the home to bring in China to bring new beginnings, gentle growth, health and opportunity. There you go. Concentrate on the emerald. Uh, on Well, emerald, yeah. And jade. Ask for the jade energy to come in when you're meditating or when you sit quiet. Help you concentrate on this abundance and this healing that you've got coming. There we go. Act like it's already happened. If you, tell it, if you put it out there that it's all that happened, I'm so glad I got that new house or whatever it is. I'm so glad. It's like you've already got it. And the universe finds it easier to bring it you. I'll leave you with that. 2022. Let's watch this space, eh? See you later. Bye.